LBJ, the early years. He was bold and energetic, as raw and untamed as the great state of Texas. I lost my appendix and won my election. <laughs> you want to see my cross stitching? <laughs> Look at that. Is that craftsmanship or what? He had his eye on the future. Trash. That's what you are. A nobody from the hill country. Those big eastern power companies that string their wires across our land ain't never gonna give us nothing. And I say that ain't fair! I say if something's gotta be done, do I have to do it all? Do he could be a man of much all? anger, but also of great tenderness. Walk, run! Score! Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Damn it, Bird. Just keep on loving me. Without mercy. He fell in love with Lady Bird Taylor and swept her off her feet. It scares me. You've typed me. Don't it excite you, honey? I brought you to the center of the world. But he found Washington was a city with many temptations. What do I owe you? Shall we start with a dance? Hmm? You're very sure of yourself. I'm sure of you. Oh, really, Congressman? Big man can have great flaws, too. I know, Mr. Sam. But I love you. Bird, you're jipping me out of the kind of partner that I thought I was going to have. Now, I expect you to push yourself to the limit just like I push myself. I've reached my limit. I can't take any more of your badgering. I'm a senator's wife. The man I love is a senator who says can do. He was a man who wouldn't be stopped, and she was a woman who wouldn't stop loving him. He met his match in the Kennedys, John and Bobby. Well, thanks for your support, Jack. You can talk to me next week about foreign relations. He's a good-looking kid, isn't he? Yeah, I think he might have a future in politics. Oh. Down east, we call that sucking up. Yeah, well, then, you can best learn to suck up and suck up good. He wants the Oval Office so bad he can taste the wallpaper. Bull, your brother's down here. He says you're double-crossing me on the vice president. What are you, blind? I'm sitting right here. No hey, wonder, Jack. Hold on easy. You convey the impression you think you can run the Oval Office better than he can. I'm going to tell Jack I'm quit. I'm going to retire. That's it. The Associated Press reports that the president was seriously wounded. That terrible day in Dallas would change the course of history forever. Mr. President. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs>